Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Cauchy criterion for an infinite series converging. If we're given an infinite series of real numbers, we're going to consider the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of a n. We recall that s n will be the sum of the first n plus 1 terms over here. j goes from 0 up to n of a j are the partial sums. Okay, And we know the series converges, our series converges if and only if the partial sums converge. Okay, that is, i.e., this means, of course, that the Sn converges to some number s as n tends to infinity, right? Now, we know from a previous video that we, for real numbers, Sn converges to s is equivalent to the sequence of partial sums being a Cauchy sequence. Okay, and this means, let's, let's recast what this means in terms of the Cauchy criterion, right? So therefore, for every epsilon greater than zero, hence, the sum j goes from zero to infinity of a j converges, if and only if, for every epsilon greater than zero, there is an n in n such that what? Such that Sn minus Sm is less than epsilon if n, let me say that, let's say that m is less than or equal to n, n epsilon. So there we have it. So now, of course, what we can do is we can write out what this means. So this exactly means that the absolute value of the sum j goes from 0 up to n of aj minus the sum j goes from 0 up to m of aj is less than epsilon, which is exactly equivalent to what? The first m terms over here are contained in these sum of the first n terms, so I'm going to start really with the m plus first term. So if and only if the absolute value of a m plus 1 plus a m plus 2 plus all the way down to a n is less than epsilon, right? So if n and m are bigger than or equal to n epsilon, with n bigger than m. Great. Now, in particular, we get one very useful thing which is very common to us from our study in Calc 2. We can automatically say what? If we choose just m to be n minus 1, if we pick We can choose this to be exactly just be one term. So in other words, what we'll have over here is we'll go all the way up to n minus 1. So if we pick m to be n minus 1, that's certainly less than n. Then what we conclude from this is we conclude that a n, the nth term, is less than epsilon if n is bigger than or equal to n epsilon. And this exactly says that the nth term in a convergent series has to go to 0 as n goes to infinity. So what we get from this is that it says that the series converges if j goes from 0 to infinity a j converges. This forces the limit as n tends to infinity of a n, the nth term of the sequence, to be zero exactly by this Cauchy criterion. Thank you very much.